Hello, uh, this is Photonic Caster, and I'm here to quickly make a tutorial for uh, my Minecraft or the Minecraft server I'm a part of community and Discord. Essentially, I am going to show you how to import mod packs on CurseForge. So it's simple. The very first step you need to do is if you don't have CurseForge, install it. If you're uncertain how to install it or where to go, just Google or look up a YouTube video. The version of CurseForge most likely that you need is just standard. If you don't know what advance entails, don't click on advance for the installation. Alright, and once you have it installed, it should look like this after you link your Minecraft account. Alright, and you just go to create custom profile here. And then it'll pop up this window. Do not worry about anything here. It will auto set everything you need for uh, importing once you import. So you hit import and you just choose wherever your file is and click on it. Now a very important thing is that you do not need to unzip for importing. CurseForge will handle that for you so unzipping it makes it to where you won't be able to import and won't even detect it and it makes it more difficult. So unlike uh, any other modding ways you may have done before Importing it is a little bit more simple, although I guess for beginners who's never used CurseForge before, it can be a little confusing. But once you have that, all you need to do is go to, say, Silent Isles. This is the Minecraft community I'm a part of that I like. And you go to Mod List or wherever the Mod List will be that you're looking for for the people that have a provided mod pack that isn't uploaded to CurseForge and you click on this one right here or whichever one is suitable for CurseForge you need a CurseForge specific one and then download the file it is that simple um, if there's anything that comes up with uh, complications after you do those steps after you let CurseForge download here I'll do it right now I'll make another copy import of say this old Guardian Isles thing and it'll I, I did it see it was quick and look it's setting it up already we're down here see validating it's it does all this stuff for you it downloads everything I'm just gonna cancel it and it handles the whole process for you and all you got to do is from the here after you installed it and let it handle all the mods put it in there it's just go to your thing hit play and then boot it up through minecraft and there you go um that is as simple as it be and uh sometimes the benefit of importing a mod pack sorry about that is that the person could just put the ip address of the server you want to join that's specific to say the minecraft discord you joined so the so the ip address could be provided ahead of time in the import mod pack files and you won't even have to handle that usually, but that varies from whatever you uh, download the mod pack and however each Minecraft person, you know, community handles their uh, imports. That's about everything you need to know about importing, I believe. Uh, if there's any other complications, well, uh, I'm sure you'll find more help and just ask for it if you need it or Google it. Uh, that's everything. I hope.